Taurus, this is your or weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It's all about you. Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising, or any place in your natal chart that you have Taurus energy, you can apply this reading. This is Taurus energy from November 4th through November 11th of 2019, or whenever you see this video. There's a slew of other videos in this same playlist, The Week Aheads, that you can look in and whatever comes up for you, it's the right time you were supposed to see it then. Now, this is the first part of the reading. I'm gonna do a full Oracle card spread, flip the camera so you can see. But also, uh, Taurus, I'm also going, I also have uh, an extended video that is a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. And that's um, in the extended, you could click that link below in the description box. Now, um, for those of you who uh, are just coming to the channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is my, my uh, channel. I'm an Oracle and Tarot card reader and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Please do click subscribe, help the channel grow and ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload all this juicy content. All right, so Taurus, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, I'm gonna make a break, I'm gonna, the, the break is gonna come in a couple of seconds. I don't wanna interrupt the message and the message will not be interrupted after that. So, please be patient and I will see you in a couple of seconds. Thank you so much if you just sat through an awkward pause or if you actually sat through a commercial, that's actually a donation to the channel. So in sitting through a commercial, that's actually you donating to the channel and I'm really grateful for it. So I wanna say thank you. All right, Taurus, let's get into, yeah, I wanted to, yeah. I know, no, no, you guessed it. I am not a videographer, <laughs> not in the slightest. All right, Taurus energy. Taurus energy from November 4th through the 11th of 2019. Taurus energy. Taurus energy from November 4th through 11th, 2019. Taurus energy. Taurus energy from November 4th through the 11th, 2019. I'm channeling that you're trying to push yourself through a hard stop. Hard spot. You're trying to push yourself through. You're trying to push yourself through. You're doing a good job. Trust the great mystery. You're doing a great job. It's like you have faith. You have a tremendous amount of faith and you have a tremendous amount of love for others in your life. So there is a deep, deep connections that are help, helping to pull you through. But there is an overwhelming sense of disappointment in yourself, your life circumstance, or what is going on with you right now. And that could just be perception. So we'll, we'll see that getting into the reading. But this is definitely, this is all channeled message. But... The crowning energy is trust the great mystery. And so that tells me it's almost like a support for the channel, for the channeled message. Um, this is a week where you will feel like you are just deep in emotions all the time. You'll be feeling a great deal. And that is actually very good. It's a healing. It's a healing. It's a cleansing. Do not be afraid to dive deep. These are emotions that you need to swim through in order to get to the other side or cross the ocean that you do have the ability to traverse. Whale has the ability to traverse the ocean. They swim in the ocean. It's where they live. So just accept these feelings. I know that you like more solidity. And maybe being out in the middle of sea is not your thing, but Taurus, this is the sea of your emotions. This is the sea of your feelings, looking deep with inside of yourself. You're going to be feeling a lot this week. Let's put it like, I think on the most shallow level, you're going to be deep emotionally. That's what this is. Now, whatever area of the, your life this applies to, I, more cards will reveal that, but I think Overall, there's just this sense of being washed over by emotions and you want to, you want to go deep. You want to explore why you're feeling this way and understand it because there's this, there's this ever like pervasive energy that is your determination to get through this. So it's almost like whatever is on the other side means enough for you to keep pushing through. You don't want to give up on it. This is something that you want to, um, this is something that you care about. This is something that you want to commit to. It may be someone, it may be something, whatever it is, you're not giving up. You're not. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. That's beautiful. All right, let's 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 read these more, more cards. 
embrace the in-between and use your mind wisely. I think you've made a decision to be okay with not being okay right now. That's what these two cards are telling me. They're also telling me that you are using your intellect, your head over your heart, and you're winning because you're, it, it's, it's helping you to find balance. Uh, flamingo is a card of balance because you know how the way they stand. This flamingo stands on one leg and they, they alter legs so that they can conserve energy. They are a balanced creature. It may be looking odd, but they actually are not odd looking, are they? They're, they're very, very beautiful. And so I think that you're trying to balance out your sense of self and how you feel about yourself this week. This is a feeling of you getting a wash of emotions about your relationship with you and how you look at yourself. And you're trying to balance that out this week by using practicalities by being pragmatic, by being reasonable, by using rationale, by using your intellect to help you understand all of the feelings that you're feeling. Okay. Time for a beginner mind. This is a hard restart and you may be defensive. There, this, this, may, this may be you being defensive because somebody that you cared for or trusted is being ambiguous with you this week. They have not been behaving correctly toward you. Um, and you are trying to give them their space. You're trying to let them work through their emotions. That's what the story is unfolding. You're trying to let this situation unfold on its own and work itself out. You're trying to let, especially if this is a specific person, have their space it's almost like somebody has asked you for space and it's making you miserable but you're trying to respect them yeah this could be a libra that you're dealing with but this is definitely you and this definitely has to do with love because this is a libra card and you know libra is ruled by venus just like you are so this definitely has to do with something in love and you being very defensive and maybe potentially bristly you want to bristle you want to break down but you also want to bring in balance and peace so in other words it's hurting you but you're respecting somebody's distance time for a deep dive oh my god taurus are you okay um um you may be very very worried about somebody that you love very very dearly um, it, 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 it's upsetting you and, and you're, I feel you trying to not be upset because you don't want to upset this person. That's what's going on. And so you're trying to have this calm surface, but underneath it's hurting and it's worrying you and it's scaring you, but you know that this person is kind of defensive and something's going on with them where they need some time. They need some space. Um, and you're trying to give that to them, but really what you want to do is wrap yourself around them and not let go. That's what I feel. You want to wrap yourself around this person and not let go because they are so near and dear to everything that you are and everything that you know about yourself. As in, if this was somebody that walked out of your life, you would question who you are. You wouldn't know what to do with yourself. And I feel like you're, you've been burying these emotions, Taurus. You've been trying to suppress it because of them, for them. You've not wanted to make them worry. Maybe they're going through a crisis. Maybe they're feeling pains or suffering in some way. They're going through a medical crisis. But Taurus, you have been suppressing these feelings of worry. You've been trying to play tough on the outside so that you can bring a sense of peace to them. You love this person a great deal. Maybe you've known them since you were a child or for a very long time. But you are definitely trying. You have decided, mind over matter, use your mind wisely. You have decided this week. As much as it hurts you and as hard as it is, it's almost like your armor this week. You have decided to be peaceful. You have decided to push those emotions down, bury them deep and embrace this um, uncertainty because this person needs you to. It's almost like they're, you can feel like they're worried too and, and you don't want to worry them even more. They are so near and dear to your heart. It is hurting you inside to not to not grab them, rush over to them, and wrap yourself around them and not let them go. Taurus, this is a major concern. Um, 
as for predictions of what this potential situation is or and or what the outcome of the situation is, I can definitely, I say, I think this is a beneficial time for you coming up, to be honest with you. But um, when we go over to the extended, I will definitely dive deep into that dive deep. I want to show you this card, a 1010. This is a divine counterpart. This is somebody that is, is, is almost like a soulmate to you. Um, so if they're hurting, you're hurting and you're trying to balance them. Maybe it's a twin flame. Maybe it's a twin flame. Maybe you're trying to balance out the pain in their life by trying to like be the Libra, be the balancing agent of, I'm not going to worry. I know you're scared. How about you cry? You like you, you want to let them cry on your shoulder. You want to let them let it out to you. You want to be their sounding board. Maybe you even want to be the person who sticks up for them. But what you don't want to do is allow yourself to feel what you really feel. And what you really feel is scared shit, scared shit, hurt, worried, scared, sad. You want to just, you just want to ugly cry all over the place this week. And I feel like you really need to let yourself, you really need to let yourself understand and accept your emotions and accept that they're what you're supposed to be feeling right now. What else are you supposed to be feeling if somebody that you love? It's not even like you're trying to deny yourself the right to feel. It's like you're trying to be strong for them. And that's why you don't want to break. I'm pulling an angel card for you, Faith. And my hand just was led to the card and I, and I want to share it with you because the, this message had to come out. Do not lose faith. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more. So Taurus, what a beautiful message. And I think the message that you needed to hear right now, these storm clouds will pass. And that's why I think you have to, it's okay for you to allow yourself. And this is why Sandpiper it says, look, it says time for a deep dive. And then it says, be playful. <laughs> like what? Sandpiper splashes in the shallows on top of the lily pads. It's as light, it's light as a feather. But Swan makes those deep dives under the water into emotions, into love. So I think right now what you're trying to do is overcompensate and be that playful person, trying, trying to bring that person up and be, be faith. Look at this. It says, be peace. But it's also be faith. Be that faith that another person might have a hard time having. You are a great healer this week, Taurus. But it's, let, I just want to say this. It's okay to cry. Whatever is happening to you, whatever you're going through that feels like it's too much, it is too much. Let it off your shoulders. You don't have to let it off your shoulders in front of this person. You can let it off your shoulders, cry in your pillow at night. And I do feel like there's going to be some of this going on. But listen, this is not a bad week. This is actually a very beautiful week. It's a healing week. When you cry, it helps to heal you, right? That's what it does. It's a healing process that your body is going through to purge out extra toxins, extra salt to get it out of your body. It's helping you. So Taurus, ugly cry if you have to. You won't, I'm telling you right now, you won't cry in front of this person. You're worried about them, but they're going to pull through. I want you to know that. I think that's a message that needed to come through loud and clear. And that's why, like, without even thinking it, if you could have seen my hand, it just started, like, tapping and strumming through this, this deck of spirit messages. And you needed to hear this. Have faith because things are going to turn around. Speaking of turn around, I'm going to turn the camera around. Hold on. And here we are. How many cards that reference going deep? Trust the great mystery. This is a deep dive. This is not knowing, going, going to those places in the dark where you don't, you don't know what's going to happen, but taking a deep breath and diving in. And then it says time for a deep dive. This is your emotions, Taurus. This is you being able to heal your heart and bring peace back to your situation by helping this other person. You have decided to take a leap of faith and trust in what you have right now and be a sort of balance by using your mind over your emotions, be outwardly being a sense of protection for somebody else, right? When really what you want to do is cry and scream and cry, do it. You're going to cry into your pillow. 
but this is a healing week for you. This is a week for you to be able to get yourself back to a place of lightness. You may actually be healing, hearing some really good um, news by the end of this week. But if not, understand that whatever you are going through, this card showed up and it showed, it had to show up for you. I don't, you know that, you know, every week I draw other cards. I very rarely draw these. This one had to come out for you and it was just have faith because your situation is healing. It is healing. You will be able to be playful once again. Oh my God. And I think that that's what you're doing. Do you see? Your emotions are going very, very deep, but you're staying on the surface for somebody else. You're helping them. You're almost being the strength for them. Or you're looking at them and you're trying to make things, use your mind wisely, embrace the in-between. You're trying to make things work for them so that they stay in balance. This is somebody that you love a great deal. These two cards, the depths would not come out otherwise. All right, Taurus, I'm going to go over to Vimeo and see a little bit more about this situation and its outcome. I'm also going to do your romance reading. So I'll see you over there.